Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Okay. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, MongoDB driver. Okay. Um, not only MongoDB driver. First thing, I want to show you a diagram and introduce a little bit about the Bison. Okay. First, uh, as we know, we won't just uh, study our MongoDB in this course like just explore those of uh, 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 navigate the collection or dbs through the compass or through this command line right for a, an application okay unless we are doing like a, a database administrator probably we will mostly work with like uh, the gui or the command line if they want okay but as a web application as we have to need someone to talk with our uh, database, right? And this is called the MongoDB driver. So here uh, in our OneNote, uh, in this side is our Node.js, which is server, okay? Which is we have our online shopping application here. Okay, and here is our MongoDB. Okay, server. Okay, and here we are host store our all the data here. And now, how can our application from the online applica online application to talk to here? How can I talk with each other? How can from this, this is written in JavaScript, right? And how can I talk with here, MongoDB? Uh, if I remember correctly, MongoDB is written in C++? Uh, I'm not sure, I have to check, okay, I couldn't remember now. But now, we need to have a JS, okay? Here, our online shooting, sh oh, sorry, online shopping, this application is written in JavaScript. So we have to provide a way, which is, uh, and JavaScript API to connect to our MongoDB. And this is called the MongoD, MongoDB driver. And this driver needed to be implemented in JS file, which is a JavaScript programming language. And there's one called the Mongo, Mon, I always forgot to put this in DB. Okay, MongoDB, this one is a module and it's registered in NPM JS. And this is a library uh, to help you to open the connection to the database, okay, to the MongoDB, open the connection and retrieve data, handle the errors if your connection failed. This is a library. And how to use that? We're using, N, uh, first we have to install, we're using NPM install dash dash uh, sorry mongodb ah, why well, i always forgot this n you can write a dash dash save first okay then mongodb okay like this okay install in your locally then uh next video we're gonna show you a demo how to actually retrieve some information okay and uh, another thing is what uh, i want to give a brief introduction what kind of type which MongoDB installed? It is called a Bison. Bison is stand for binary JSON. Okay, and uh, which you can think about the Bison is an extension on JSON extension uh, extended version on the JSON. So whatever uh json supports then the mongodb will support because it's extension on that and also uh bison type which is mongodb will support more types support more types than json what are the type uh let me show you the example here did you see here? When I store this object here, this ID is a primary key, which is uh, unique for every document in one collection, okay? This uh, underscore ID. And here I have to give a unique ID here, right? And you see here has a type called object ID. 
object ID. This object ID here is a special type, a special type inside the uh, which MongoDB support uh, support, which is part of the JSON. Okay, but JSON doesn't have this uh, object ID this type, and JSON doesn't support for like uh, binary data, and JSON doesn't support for like uh, what's thing a uh, date. Suppose I want your date in JSON, you have to just using like a string, right? JSON will support the date type. So whatever stored in MongoDB, everything you can. Every JSON type and extended type. Okay, every document you represent in JSON and also it support more types. That's the basic ideas for what's gonna be stored in the database. What what's your document gonna be look like? It's a JSON, and it has more types like object ID, date. If you want to store store binary data, you can also store. Okay. So that's it for this video, and let it. Oh, no, not uh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 not that's it. Okay, I forgot. I forgot to show you in the demo. Okay, first we go to install this MongoDB driver. Here I create a new folder called Day Eight. Okay, and this is gonna be what we are working on today. So we go to this uh, Day Eight, Day Eight, and how to install. I think you guys are familiar. npm install. You can use in MongoDB. This is a driver. This driver is a library which helps you to open connection to the database and then you can retrieve the things. Okay. And if it uh, failed, then it's going to handle the uh, fail failure for you. Like this. And uh, that's, I forgot to do something better. <clears throat> Okay, I forgot. Actually, I don't want to ruin the our project, but the next demo is a hello world. I have to create a, a single file to connect the database. Anyway, I'll just do create a new file there. Okay, uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, we just install the MongoDB, and the next video we are gonna do is to write a small hello world, which is hello world on MongoDB driver. Okay. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you later. Bye bye.